Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I do a full face of M Cosmetics. I have been wanting to do this for a while, so I'm so excited. Um, M Cosmetics did send me a lot of products so I could do a full face, so thank you M Cosmetics for providing the products so I could do this video. I am very excited. This is the look that I came up with today. I think it turned out so, so pretty and very natural and like warm and bronzy and like toasty if that makes sense um yeah very excited for this video because i have truly fallen in love with some of these products and they just feel like staples in my collection now so i hope you enjoy and let's get started okay so i'm gonna start with foundation and i didn't prime my face i just have moisturizer and whatnot on my face and i'm gonna use the shade sweet secret which is medium tan in the daydream cushion um, which also has SPF in it, which is very nice. It has SPF 50 PA++++, so that's awesome. You can definitely tell that there is SPF in this. It has a slight like sunscreen scent to it, um, which I personally, I like the smell of sunscreen. It makes me feel like I'm at the beach, so... I don't mind that, but I can see other people minding that. Um, I've used this foundation quite a few times now. I really like the finish and how it holds up through the day and I just love it. It's very skin-like and beautiful um, and I've tried it with both the sponge that it comes with and I've tried it with um, a makeup brush which is what I prefer so I'm going to do that today. I'm just going to use a dense um, foundation brush. I'm just going to stipple this into my face and then buff it in. And the finish of this is like light to medium coverage very skin like as well and yeah it's just a very beautiful foundation I feel like the shade is like almost spot on um, for my skin color right now my like winter shade it is a tad light I think I could go a bit deeper but once I put like bronzer and stuff on it is fine so I feel like you can tell on the camera that it looks a little light but we'll fix that with bronzer okay so that is one application of the cushion foundation and I really like it you can tell that it didn't cover up all of my like discoloration I had a super bad breakout um, this last week just like a few days ago so I have a lot of hyperpigmentation from that and just like all my acne that I generally have it doesn't really cover up all of it um, but I think the coverage is really nice and very natural and very like glowy and quite dewy I usually have pretty a pretty oily base before I start my foundation just because I like a very like moisturized face because I do run a little dry um, but this doesn't make me any more oily than I would expect um, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer as well just to like cover up this hyperpigmentation and then work with my um, under eye circles so I'm just gonna use a little bit of shape tape tart shape tape in the shade medium sand and just a little bit here and on these little spots and I have noticed with the M Cosmetics um, cushion foundation that it does cling very slightly to my dry patches, but nothing too extreme and actually a lot better than other foundations that I have. Like it doesn't cling nearly as badly as other foundations. So that's something that I've noted and really like about this foundation because I notice a lot of my other ones will just like super cling to my dry patches and emphasize them really badly but this one doesn't it does cling a little bit but it doesn't like emphasize them if that makes sense and then I do like to take the sponge and just like press it into my skin just to get rid of any of those like foundation streaks or foundation brush streaks lol does not match at all <laughs> I'll fix it later though um, but this is the finish I think it looks really pretty it looks very natural and glowy um, I'm gonna put on some bronzer now I'm gonna use the physicians formula butter bronzer in the shade bronzer I believe 
I'm not sure what shade this is, but I am trying to use this up, so I'm just gonna pop this onto my face and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have bronzer on and I'm gonna go in with blush. Um, they sent me both of their powder blushes, which I'm so excited for. I've been wanting and lusting after these powder blushes for such a long time and I'm so excited to finally have them. This is one of them. This is the um, shade Faded Clementine. It's like, it looks very light in the pan, but it comes off a lot deeper on the skin, but it's like an apricotty, peachy, clementine-y shade on the cheeks. It's very, very pretty, very glowy, and I really love that one. Um, and then they also sent over the Heaven's Glow Magic Hour blush, which is like their more pinky shade. And this is what I'm going to be using today, but they also did send the um, Sunset Sky and Peachy Peach blushes in their serum drop ones. Um, I still have to play around with these. I also own Venetian Rose, which I bought myself, and these are very, very, like, oily? I, I don't know, like serum-y. They do truly feel like a serum, but I don't really want to use one of these today. If you want to see me use these in the future, I 100% can do that um, and do like a look with one of these or with my Venetian Rose Serum Blush. But today I'm going to use the Heaven's Glow Magic Hour Blush and I'm just going to use an Eco Tools Tapered Brush to just put this all over my cheeks. I think this is one of my new favorite blushes just because it's very like pinky and peachy looking on me and very natural and beautiful. It also has a very gorgeous like natural glowy finish to it as well. Like it's very very natural looking and I think it's so pretty. And I feel like you can really pack it on like it's not super pigmented so you can go ham if you want to, or if blush is like intimidating to you, then this is a good starter blush because it's pretty light and not very pigmented because it is like that baked formula. So you can be pretty light handed with it as well, but so pretty. Every time I've worn this, I have loved how my makeup's turned out and I just feel like I look very cute. Okay, next I'm gonna do brows. Um, I have the Fine Liner Brow Pencil in the shade Deep Taupe. This is a very tiny little brow pencil. I really love how small the tip of this is and I love the application of this as well. It's a harder formula so it really is easy to do your brows without going overboard which I prefer. And I think this um, color fits my brow shade very, very well as well. And then I'm going to use the Clear Brow Wax. Um, I really like this. It's not my favorite brow product ever. It has a very, very nice, like, tiny little brush, which is super nice. Um, but I just feel like this isn't, like, waxy enough or isn't thick enough for my liking. Um, I really love the Patrick Ta Brow Wax, and I think that consistency has, like, changed me as a human being because I don't like anything that isn't less waxy than that. I just really like thick, like waxy brow products. And I think the only thing that compares like that's in a like spooly type situation um, or like brow gel type thing is the Glossier Boy Brow. Um, this one is nice, but I, I don't know. I just feel like it, I feel like it could be like more pomade-y. Does that make sense? But it is very, very nice, and I really like the applicator as well. I love how small it is. So there are my brows. Okay, next up is the um, Divine Skies Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Magic Hour. I have wanted this eyeshadow palette for such a freaking long time. It is so beautiful and creamy, and the shades are gorgeous, and it is just such a good everyday palette and yeah, the 
the pigment in it is incredible and the looks that you can do with it are just like easy and everyday. I think anyone who got this palette would really really like it. So very excited to have it in my collection. I'm going to go into the shade Terra which is this brown shade and just put it all over my eyelid. I also love mini palettes and I feel like this is such a good mini palette that also has quite a few shades like most mini palettes are like four shades like quads but this one has six so you have two more options to your look if you want them with such a still very like compact cute package or compact palette I don't know what I'm saying Okay, next I'm going to go into this like deeper pink color. This is the shade Phoenix and put that on the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm going to take this peachier shade here, which is the shade Magic Hour and just put that in my crease. And then I'm going to go into this shade here, which is the shade Sunset and put that on my lid. Another thing that I really like about this palette is it's very easy to use every single shade every single time you use the palette, which I find to be very rare with any palette, honestly. I feel like it's easier with quads or like very simple neutral palettes, but with this one, um, there's quite a variety, but it's like really easy to use every single shade. And I don't know, it feels good to be able to use and take advantage of like every shade that's in a palette that you have. It's like satisfying. And then I'm gonna take the shade Terra again, which is that brown shade here and put that on my lower lash line and I'm gonna mix it with Phoenix as well. And then I'm gonna take the shade Heavenly, which is this champagne shade and I'm gonna put that into my inner corner and like the very front part of my lid right here. My friend Tara Brooke has this palette and she talks about it a lot and I have wanted it. Like every time she talks about it, I'm like, okay, I need this palette because she loves it so much. And yeah, this palette just reminds me of her because she uses it so much and she like loves it a lot. And I understand why because it's such a good freaking palette. Okay, so that is the eyes. I think I'll probably blend it a little more. So this is what the eyes look like. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm not centered, I apologize. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my camera cut off for a second, so it didn't catch me applying this mascara to my lower lash line. But this is the Pick Me Up mascara, and I like this for my bottom lashes, but I don't like it for my top lashes. It doesn't hold a curl, which is like one of the requirements for me to like a mascara, and this doesn't do that for me. It's very separating and natural looking on the eyelashes, and I feel like if you like um, more lightweight, like not very voluminous mascaras, you would like this one. It reminds me of the Glossier Lash Slick as well, so if you like that one, I think you would like this one a lot. Um, so I just applied it to my lower lashes, and um, yeah, it's nice for my lower lashes. I actually need a little bit more on my left side, so I'll apply that. And then for my top lashes, I'm going to use the L'Oreal telescopic waterproof mascara um, and then I'll be right back okay so eyes are all complete um, now I'm gonna do lip liner they actually sent me their entire lip liner line so if you want a full swatch video of that I'd be happy to do that so just let me know and I I can do that um, they're very very nice I'm happy with every single color I was kind of shocked by that because from pictures I've seen online, they all looked quite light and I don't know that they wouldn't like they wouldn't work on me like they'd be too gray or like wash me out or something. But I actually really love all of them. And so that's very nice to know <laughs> is that they all work really nicely. So I love that and that was like a very pleasant surprise. 
Um, but today I'm going to use the shade Fawn. And then over top of that, I'm gonna use their Quartz Clear Lip Gloss. So this is the M Cosmetics Soft Blur Velvet Lip Liner in the shade Fawn. And this is kind of like a brownie peach shade. I'm not one to overline my lips. If anything, I underline them um, just because, I don't know, I just don't do that. But I feel like if you are someone who does like overlining your lips, you would really like these lip liners because they're quite blurring on the edges and they're just like a very creamy, nice lip liner that would make it very easy to overline if that's something that you like. So. This is what the shade Fawn looks like. I really like this with the whole eye look and the cheek look because it's a very monochromatic and I think it just like blends very well together. I feel like the their products are very like warm and like burnt kind of like smoky in a very soft way if that makes sense and, and because of that I think that's why the lip liners work on me because the undertones of everything are just like very flattering for my personal skin tone. And I've seen these products look good on a bunch of different type of skin tones, so that's very nice as well. Um, but this is the lip liner. I really like it. I think it's really pretty. And then I'm going to put the gloss on top. I'm just going to put it on my finger because I don't like getting the applicator all dirty. Um, but this is the M Cosmetics Clear Lip Gloss in the shade Quartz. So this is the final look. I really, really like how the lips are. They're very natural and like very much so my lips but better. So I really, really like that. Um, I'm just gonna take my hair out. Hopefully I didn't ruin my bangs. So that is my full face of M Cosmetics. This is everything on my face. I really like how this makeup look turned out. I think it just looks very natural every day, something I feel very comfortable wearing. And M Cosmetics as a makeup company as a whole is just like incredible. I feel like all of their releases have been very thoughtful and like true items that could be staples in your collection that you would use over and over again and repurchase. They just have such quality products and I am so excited to have all of them now in my collection and I can't wait to keep playing with them. Um, I genuinely loved almost everything that I tried. I think the only things that I'm a little like so-so on are the mascara and the brow gel. I would like to try their other brow gel. I've heard very good things about that, but personally this clear one is not exactly what I want. Um, I think it just doesn't have the hold that I would prefer, um, but it is very nice and I can see a lot of people liking this. And then the mascara just doesn't hold a curl on my top lashes, which as I mentioned is like something that I need in a mascara. So. I don't know but it is really nice for my lower lashes so I can see myself buying this just like solely for my lower lashes but I have a lot of mascaras to get through so this is something that I wouldn't like run out and repurchase once I've run out of this one um, so yeah these two products are like the only iffy ones and then the um, serum blush is something that I need to try out more but like the eyeshadow palette, the cushion foundation, the powder blush, the lip pencils, and the lip gloss and the brow pencil are all incredible. I really, really love them, have enjoyed wearing them for the last couple weeks, and have loved how my makeup turns out like every single time that I wear them. So I just feel like they're very solid makeup products. And I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.